All right, here we go. It's eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch, and today we got peach agave garlic from my friend Tim Frackzak at Pepplish Provisions. Uh, love the simplistic labels. Very, very elegant. Like, honestly, I mean, I always say, especially in the sauce industry, if you can do it just right, it grabs people's attention. Um, this one is the number one out of four. Uh, he sent four of them. I got one other one to left to do. I was going to do these kind of in order, four, three, two, one. Number two is still left to do. I kind of feel like I'm going to like that one best, but I don't know. I mean, these have all been good. They're, they're so unique. Uh, Tim is doing things. He's going for flavor profiles that are just not the norm I, and I, that's the best way i can put it they're not they're not what you kind of would expect to see in a in a hot sauce so uh it says peach agave garlic hot sauce heat and flavor let me see on the side here our mission our mission is to produce hot uh quality food and drink that is free of exploitation because we believe that every meal should be a celebration of superb ingredients bold flavors and god's love served fresh to those ready to eat Suggested pair or food pairings: barbecued chicken, grilled steak, cheeseburgers, fries, oh fried eggs, sorry, and Bloody Marys. That actually sounds like my kind of sauce. So this this one may end up being my favorite one. Um, yeah. So I don't want to read the ingredients. I know there's peach, agave, and garlic in here. From this, let me give it a little quick shake. Um, I've already kind of pre-shaken this, but give it a quick shake just for the sake. I'm scared to smell this because this is probably going to smell really good. Ooh, strong garlic smell. Strong garlic smell. Very sweet, um, very barbecue-esque uh, right off the top. Very much. Ooh, nice pour. Look at that pour on that. That's quality hot sauce pour. Oh, nice smokiness. I wasn't expecting a smokiness to this. This really does kind of, I think... He, he's probably right already with the food pairings. Um, I feel like this has got a very um, barbecue-esque uh, tone to it. So strong, just nice garlic. It smells so fresh. My mouth is watering just smelling it. I got it. I got to taste it. So three, two, one. Ooh, yeah. That is barbecue. Wow. That is screams barbecue. He's exactly right. Seriously. Um, God, I, I could almost put this on tacos too. I would say this would probably be good on tacos even. Or to say barbecue chicken. Absolutely. 100% barbecue chicken. You could finish this. You could finish barbecue chicken with this. This would be great. Grilled steak. I could see it on steak. I'm not. I'm not a big proponent of using sauces on steaks, but this would be one that I could see used on steaks and not be bad. Cheeseburger, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, a barbecue bacon cheeseburger with this. Wow, very good. There's a mm. the garlic tone is just perfect. I mean, it's oh, there's a tiny bit of heat to this. It's not hot. It is not hot. It's a high one so it's noticeable that it's there but it's not kind of into what i would call that regular hot sauce so this is more of family friendly sauce i mean it's probably going to be pretty spicy to a non-chili head somebody that just doesn't eat spicy stuff all the time but mm, so good um fried eggs that might be the only one i kind of disagree with but i don't really eat sauces with my eggs per se so much so that would be the only one. Um, there's only certain sauces that I will eat with my eggs, but I could see that. French fries, though, like this on some like cheesy fries, some cheesy chili cheese fries. <laughs> Man, Tim, that's some good stuff. I'm going to get another hit of this real quick. Uh, this, <laughs> so far, this is my favorite one of them um, out of the four that I've had. This is really good. So peach agave garlic. Wow. Mm. That nice smokiness, the garlic, 
the garlic is just mm. there's a nice little texture to it too it's just got just enough texture that it's got a tiny bit of greediness to it oh so good seriously tim this is this is the best one i've had from you seriously this is really good love the flavor Again, only a, about a one in heat, so it's, I, I really, I feel like this is a sauce that if you can eat Frank's Red Hot, you can eat this. It's very, very, maybe it's a little hotter than Frank's. Maybe a little hotter. Not much. Let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients, cider vinegar, peach agave syrup, garlic, not peach agave, peach, then agave syrup, uh, garlic, Habanero pepper, cane sugar, spices, sea salt, paprika, citric acid, and ghost pepper. And, and as I'm saying ghost pepper, I'm starting to think this may be a very low two. It may be, because it's still kind of building, believe it or not. It's It may be a very low two. So it may be, it may be a little less friendly than I thought. But still, I really feel like this is something that's not overly aggressive in the heat. It really is not. I know my tolerance is low right now, so I know that. This is not something, I mean, if somebody's really sensitive to spice, this may be too hot, but if they kind of like spice at all, wow, Tim, seriously, wow, bam, that's, I mean, seriously, that's your best one so far. I still got, I still got the uh, apple cinnamon, oh, oh, sorry, apple cilantro lime to do, which I'm really, I'm really hopeful that that one is delicious too. I'm, I'm sure it will be, but uh, this one's got my vote right now is the best out of the four. Uh, thank you again, Tim Fraxack, for that. Definitely go check him out. I will put a link in the description to his uh, his sauces, uh, Peplish Provisions. The guy is doing cool things. I mean, he seriously, he's really working hard to get quality ingredients, and it shows. I'm telling you, this is a perfect example of good effort. So thank you so much. Um, yeah. I honestly I actually have, my, I have one of the other ones out here blueberry uh basil shallot before i close this out this one was probably my favorite going forward i know there's some people out there that don't care for blueberries but <laughs> i love blueberries and this one was my this was my favorite up until now but i actually think this one wins it out so blueberries you're going to the side <laughs> i figured i'd have those out there just to talk about them and then his other one was the uh, pineapple lemongrass ginger which that one was good it's just not per se my my cup of tea but peachy garlic yes so till next time eat like a squatch <laughs>